Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service. With support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Orlando, Florida for Sapphire Now. Silicon Angle Media's exclusive coverage of Sapphire. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burst, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the citizen noise. You're watching theCUBE. Want to do a shout out to our sponsors. Without their help, we would not be here. SAP HANA Cloud Platform, Console Inc. at Console Cloud, a hot startup in Silicon Valley. And also, we have Capgemini, uh, we have EMC, thanks so much for your support. Our next guest is Gabby Corrin, who's the EVP of the Americas for Panaya, um, a company bought a year ago by Infosys, now part of Infosys. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much. So you guys, congratulations on the acquisition over a year ago, but you guys are now part of the big machinery of Infosys, which is uh, tier one systems integrator, part of SAP's global channels, they call it but essentially you're out serving customers all over the world. That is correct, um, yes. As at Infosys. What's your role in the, the Infosys organization and what does your company do? Okay, so I'll start with the company. Uh, Panaya was founded uh, 10 years ago and uh, our quest is to help customers to perform all their changes in their ERP environment. We basically analyze the environment, create that mapping, that baseline that uh, helps them understand exactly what they're dealing with. Then we support them in scoping all the changes. And then we work with them throughout the journey of executing on all the testing cycles associated with all the changes. Uh, we serve about 2,000 customers and we are a 100% cloud-based solution. My role, uh, as EVP for the Americas is to support uh, all customers in, uh, in the region. And we're working very closely with Infosys uh, into bringing Panaya as part of, uh, uh, of their offering uh, to accelerate the processes, to bring innovation, uh, and to bring much more efficiency to all the SAP projects uh, and activities that they perform with their customers. So we had, um the global partner person on earlier, and that, that was the big point. Innovation's now at the center, not just delivery, which Infosys has been great at, but also other things, innovation. Time is very important. Exactly. <laughs> so your yes. solution speeds things up, so share with it what is it, is it SaaS based, is it like code analyzers, is it for QA, is it for testing, what specifically um, do you guys solve? What problem do you solve? Great question. So first of all, we are, we are a SaaS based solution, so we do everything in the cloud. Uh, and this helps, as you said, uh, uh, perform all the tasks faster and more efficiently. Um, and the pain that we're coming to address is, uh, is the fact that change is constant in the ERP. The ERP is never an island, never an isolated solution, and it's always in change. It's the core of a lot of the businesses that we meet here. So change is their reality. They need to change all the time. They're highly customized. So every change that comes from the vendor or from the business requires uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, preparation and a very fast execution. And this is where Panaya plays. We simulate the change virtually in the cloud and we tell customers in advance what is going to happen to their environment all the way to the code line level, what exactly is going to break, how to fix it, what to test, and we support them, again, throughout all the testing cycles from the unit test or the technical test all the way to user acceptance, uh, acceptance tests, UATs, uh, that is a big pain to organizations so because of the deploy. collaboration. So you guys speed up the process. Absolutely, so we speed up the process, we reduce costs, we bring customers faster to market by about 50%, uh, and we allow them to do their projects at the budget that they establish or lower. So give an example of someone who has the problem and what, what their environment looks like. I mean, because everyone's trying to get to the cloud, and your solution, right is tailor-made perfectly to the cloud, because it's very DevOps-like. Yes. Yes. It makes things go faster. It's part of that whole agile iteration speed game, which we love. But there are people trying to get there that are figuring it out. Right. What are they, what's their environment, the people who have the problem? 
What's, okay. what's their environment like? So, paint the picture. Virtually any SAP customer needs Panaya. It's <laughs> uh, a good plug. <laughs> uh, it's complicated. And, right? Yes. Uh, their environment can have one instance or multiple instances of SAP uh, ECCs. Uh, they all have uh, the need for testing because they perform testing all the way. And uh, they are trying to bring some of the applications to the cloud, but not necessarily. Most of our customers still are heavily on-premise based. So what we do is that we do all the analysis in the cloud, and this is how we help them do, th do things much faster. So I got to ask you the Infosys question because I'm a, I'm a big fan of Vishal Sikka. Mm -hmm. For many years I've watched his work at SAP certainly. He was very, very early on and very right on a lot of technical decisions around how things played out. I watched him during the SOA days, web, well go back to the web services days, which is the late 90s, early 2000s. He had the right call and vision on web services mm -hmm. and then service oriented architectures. Yes. He brought a lot of great mojo to SAP. Um, and he's always been very open source driven. Right. And he's just a cool guy. So, what's it like working there? I mean, is he like on, always talking to the employees? Are you in, do you talk to him? What's it like uh, inside the company at, at Infosys? And, and specifically Vishal, what's, what's he up to? So first of all, he's such a visionary. Uh, you know, you listen to him uh, and his vision. So his vision is people and software. And he wants to make a difference when it comes to supporting customers, being an SI, being at a company that creates uh, and makes a difference. Um, he's also very personal, so he's very approachable. Um, he loves ideas as innovation and he believes that innovations come from within. So he's, uh, he's a huge supporter uh, of Panaya and bringing Panaya to, the, uh, to every single Infosys uh, customer and opportunity. Um, but, uh, uh, but he has that vision that you don't replace uh, a thing, you don't replace stuff and you take something and you bring, but you learn to collaborate and you understand that the environment needs to be flexible. And the only way to bring that flexibility is to take the existing environment and uh, uh, and continue to bring innovation, even if it's in small steps, you bring that innovation uh, to the table. Uh, and this is what makes it, to, that makes it so unique to work for a, for a guy like him. So the traditional systems integrator relationship uh, has been, there's always been tension, a lot of tension between customers and systems integrators. Yes. Customers say they want something, systems integrators have the expertise to do it, Customers want it fast, systems integrators sometimes use their experience to inflate billings. Mm -hmm. uh, but the customer increasingly is in charge in almost all global markets. And I'm at, the question in is, are you helping your customers stay more in control of Infosys engagements? And if the answer is yes, how does that improve the value proposition of Infosys? Okay, that's a great question. So, uh, one of the reasons that Panaya remains an independent uh, uh, and contained organization within Infosys is, is Vishal's commitment to support that. So, we sell direct a lot to our customers and we support, we remain objective uh, whoever the customer chooses to work with, whether it's to do it in-house or to use system integrators, and we have more and more projects that there are three, four, or five system integrators that are involved, and each one does a piece uh, of the solution. And Panaya gives that control because of the analysis, because of the support on the planning stage. We uh, paint the right picture of where you are today, where do you want to go, and in the journey of doing that. So. Um, uh, this is one of the claims uh, of victory of Panaya is that we bring that control back to the hands of the customers exactly as they want to, because they want to understand what they're dealing with, uh, what are the pricing. And the SIs on the other hand also understand that prices cannot continue to be cut forever and ever. Uh, but if you don't bring that innovation, that people plus software, uh, it will be impossible to continue to compete in this market. Well, they get more net contract value on the sales as they deliver value. Exactly, so to their customers. So if they're helping their customers drive more cash and revenue. Well, right? I would presume <laughs> that it actually starts with the contracting process mm -hmm. for a lot of these efforts 
is itself very, very expensive and often leads to not a lot of value. And so I presume that in response to uh, what you just mentioned, John, that you're generating artifacts to make it easy for the customer, an SAP customer, to envision where they need to go, and those artifacts then help the SAP customer manage right. the integrator and the, and, the, and the company doing it, which then dramatically reduces the contracting process exactly. because it's a lot clearer, which means I can focus more on you the management resources. of the partner Correct. as a set of capabilities because it always changes along the way. That is correct. And as I change, I can envision that using some of the technologies that you're bringing to bear. That is correct. And we create these assets that can be reused time and again, uh, and then we free up resources so they can focus on innovation in additional uh, activities. That is exactly our value proposition. You got it absolutely right. So are you right. like a consultant management system in the SAP world? Um, <laughs> we don't claim to be, no. We bring uh, solutions uh, and we're not in the consulting business at all. And no, managing the consultant. Oh, absolutely. So, so we have so to manage the that process. Manage that is correct. Consultants. That is correct. Yes, you're absolutely right. My final question for you. Thanks for coming on with Cube, by the way. I know sure. it's short Thank notice. Thank you. Thank you for um, having me. Great to have the insight. What's the biggest change in the ecosystem are you seeing today? Because you're close to the code, so you're close to all the action. At, mm -hmm. at Panaya, and certainly Infosys is massive and global. Uh, what is the biggest change that's happening in the ecosystem with SIs and generally across the board? So, that's a great question. So, one thing that we're seeing is much more, um, uh, much more competition. Uh, the customer is much more educated, uh, exactly as, as, as you, Peter, say. The customers are much more educated. They know what they want, and they are coming in with much more control and knowledge. So we're seeing this, and customers are looking for much more long-term uh, uh, activities. This is why HANA is becoming such a, a, a strong, we're seeing this also here in, the, in this show, how everybody's talking HANA because it's not something that you do for the next year, it's something that is going to be uh, with these customers for a long term. So they are looking for long term uh, type they of engagement. They don't have to buy a lot of HANA, they can actually put their toe in the water, if you will. The old days it was you buy SAP and you yes. hired the, 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 the SIs, project management, delivery over a long period of time. They don't have to do that today. They can still have a long view with HANA, right? right. I mean, you seeing yes. that too? And what we're seeing is uh, uh, a move, on this regard, we're seeing a move from uh, uh, best from best of, of suite into best of breed. You know, we want on each area the best solution possible. Uh, and Without we fit perfectly. The integration and transaction correct, costs. correct. And we fit yeah. perfectly into that story. Well, thanks so much. A uh, real quick question for you. You guys have a big end user event like Sapphire. Yes. Did you just have one in San Francisco recently? Or so do you have one coming up? What's going on at the events for Infosys? So we participated in, uh, in Confluence, which is a very large event of uh, Infosys, uh, uh, just uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, very, very well attended. Um, and we... Uh, is that a global conference in San Francisco? Or it's a, is it global, other it's a global event in which uh, the, the largest, the biggest customers of Infosys attend once a year, they get together. Uh, it's all about thought leadership uh, and sharing ideas, uh, design thinking, which Vishal is, uh, is leading very strongly. So that was the main theme of the event. So we had the chance to meet a lot of our customers and prospects. Um, and, and now, of course, Sapphire. Well, thank you so much for coming on, Gabby. Great to have you on theCUBE. Welcome to theCUBE alumni, now that you're on theCUBE. We are live here in Orlando for SAP Sapphire Now. I'm John Furrier with Peter Burris with theCUBE. You're watching SiliconANGLE's theCUBE.